Hey guys, what's up? It's Bando, and I'm back with another video. So today I thought I would go over a little bit more stuff of my Lionel collection here. So some stuff I picked up, and then this uh, giant monstrosity of a cabinet that I built to hold all my stuff so I no longer have to put my stuff in the crawl space, so it's kind of cool. So let me take a little look at what we got going on down here. So pretty much my birthday was a couple days ago, so I thought... Uh, it would be a great idea to go out to the uh, Great Midwestern Train Show, which if you guys don't know what that is, if you're living around Chicago, it's one of the biggest uh, gatherings they do like once a month. They get about 180 so vendors there, and they go from like 9 a.m. in the morning till 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and it's just a giant swap meet. So I haven't been there in about 15 years. Me and my dad used to go when I was a little kid. So um, I picked up some more rolling stock while I was there. Um, it's crazy what stuff you could find uh out out in those uh swap meets so pretty much we got one tank car from mth and we got some uh spirit of 76 box cars which i figured i add to the collection i have actually two of them in there the state of maryland and the state of new jersey which i'll probably pull out a little later and show all six of them together but these are the ones that i just picked up so this was one of the first uh things i came across too and I thought it was a really cool piece. So I figured all these um, all these are pretty much in like new condition um, as far as I'm concerned with. Except for I think the Spear, the North Carolina one, which is this one. This coupler here, or it's the other, other coupler. This coupler here, I think needs a return spring because if you click it down or what, which one was it? Or was it South Carolina? One of these didn't have a... A working coupler on it. It was like the spring was mechanism was broken. It was either North or South Carolina. It might have been South Carolina. Or magically all these are going to start working now. Um, one of these did not have a working coupler on the one end. Yeah, here it is. State of New Hampshire. So you can see if I push the tab down, see how it doesn't spring out? So you have to pull this out to open the knuckle. Which is fine because I guess in there you can't really see it because the lighting is terrible. Um, but there's supposed to be a return spring right back behind the coupler there and it's missing. Um, so other than that small minor uh, thing, these were, are all in excellent condition for being how old they are. You can see there's the original boxes right there. Um, for all the all of them are are excellent they have like no the plastic is all in there there's very minor wear to them so i'm going to put those away and store them in probably side of this box i have a couple other boxes that i have cars that i bought recently and i'll store all of them together to make sure that they don't get messed up or anything but these are definitely awesome i picked each one of these up for 10 bucks a piece which is absolutely ridiculous that's awesome the guy had 60 or 60 so 50 60 freight cars on this uh table and they were all in boxes and it just said ten dollars and up and as soon as i scrolled across these and i seen these four were sitting there i was like i gotta add these to my collection i think this would be so cool um and then this mth union pacific uh tanker car here it's kind of neat it's got some nice logoing on the sides here in the backs um it's got this nice i like this little flammable logo which is kind of cool um, the only this one was 20 bucks that I bought. The only one with this is this little post here. You can see these corners have these black posts. This one's missing um, and it got cracked off. But other than that, it's a really solid piece. It's got these tab couplers on the back on the undersides of them so they work exactly like um, these would except these have a little bit bigger of a tab on them. Um, and also when I was there, I took this guy to get a headlight. so now the headlight actually works again. Um, it's been burned out for quite some time, so I figured I'd go buy another headlight bulb. That was 75 cents, so that was really a no-brainer to fix that. I tried to get a coupler for that Santa Fe uh, switcher that's in there, but I couldn't find him. I, um, somebody was supposed to be a repair person there, and he just retired like the, la the last month in January was um, when he actually was his last month there. So I wanted to find somebody to help fix that because I think, you know, I really want to have that front coupler. It has been busted for who knows how long, and I want to be able to push and pull with that engine. I think it would be kind of neat to have it running backwards, um, pulling some cars along it. So, yeah, so these are um, pretty cool. Like I said, I paid 60 bucks for all five of these. I, I don't, I mean, you can barely find one freight car nowadays for $60, so... Um, I figured that was a no-brainer, and I'm definitely going to be attending this show a lot more to pick up a lot 
uh, a lot more of these cars and see if I can find some specialty stuff. I just wanted to put them on the tracks right now and get them connected up to see if they would actually work um, and roll around and, and see if they actually all roll nicely and stuff together. So that's what I'm going to do in a minute. But I'll show some video of them running around in a bit. But let me uh, walk you through this monstrosity of a shelf uh, going on over here. So this thing, I, you know, I was sick and tired of crawling, pulling these boxes out of the crawl space. And um, I was looking for something that could store all of my stuff. And I came across this from Ikea. And I was actually looking at a smaller cabinet. And one of their employees pulled me aside and said, you know, maybe you should come look at this. I think this would be a better fit for you. And I actually really like this. Um, pretty much you buy this organizer on the outside, this shelf um, unit. And you can customize the interior with whatever shelves they want. They have solid shelves. They got baskets. They got... Um, dividers and all this other stuff that you can buy so i bought these nice glass shelves and then this nice glass topper that i just got yesterday for because this was in back order so i finally picked that up yesterday and uh put all this in and some felt to go in these drawers because originally i just had all the tracks in here so in the bottom drawer here um i have my new york central flyer and my k-line santa fe switcher here which i like to put the engines in the glass but you see they just roll out and then they have all this storage space. So I have all my track for my curb track in here and all my electronic stuff. So my transformers, my remote controls, and the power bricks for the other trains in this drawer. And that's I put them down there because that's the heaviest stuff that's in the bottom drawer. Then this one here, some of the track that's supposed to be right here is actually for this train right here. And that caboose was sitting in this glass here. And then these are all my freight cars that I have... For most of my freight cars are stored in this one. So I got, you know, box cars and um, I got, now I got two tank cars, coal cars, flat cars and stuff. So, and a couple of cranes. So that's kind of cool. In this drawer. This one I got some more track. I got the uh, Union Pacifics and the fire train car. And then I got a couple steam engines back here. Some extra straight track and then these switches are brand new so i didn't open them yet and also these ones that you saw in the bubble wrap these are the track pieces that i got from lion l that they set me out that were missing from that santa fe super chief set that i had did a previous video on um so that was awesome of them it took them a couple weeks to get it here but i'm so glad they got that here and this one i have the polar express chasing down the new york central track car so up in here was where all these five cars were sitting up in this corner. Got the Polar Express cars here and the specialty pieces of the track. So many straights, many curves, the, the figure eight, the uncoupling track. So these are all in this drawer. And then this one up here has got my Santa Fe Super Chief in here and then all the rest of my passenger cars that didn't fit in the bottom drawer. Now this drawer, I kept it with the track because it was the top with the glass so you could look down and see this nice little uh, display going on here uh, eventually though if I do buy enough material I'll just buy possibly another drawer and just move all this up one or I'll reorganize these drawers and take the tracks out and just lay the trains out on the on this nice felt material that I got so it doesn't scratch this uh, vinyl wood and I also found this little guy in the crawl space this is an HO um, version of this locomotive that I had sitting in the crawl for since I was little. So that was kind of cool that I found that. But yeah, I really like this. I think it's awesome. Definitely worth the money. I mean, it was very expensive. Uh, it's probably right, right here you're looking at it, probably about $450 to $500 for this shelf. Um, and it took me about, about three or four hours to construct it. Although it was uh, me screwing up with a couple of things like um, putting the screws in the wrong places and that back piece I actually put it on backwards that's why you notice this little mark over here because I had a I had to bang these nails out and then flip this piece over and put this back in but this is just a piece of vinyl it's not really that thick um, when I go if I ever do decide to move out or anything I'm just gonna take the drawers out and the glass out and disconnect all these you know, hangers under here they're just screwed in so you just unscrew them and then i'm just gonna probably demo this outside because this is 100 bucks for this outside piece so i would just buy another one of these because you know i already broke the legs on the bottom there's a little two support legs because i had to take this 
and fold it back down because I had to take this back panel off. I ended up breaking these two legs off the bottom. So I would just go and buy another one, rebuild it, and then um, and then put it wherever I needed to go next. So, so yeah, these are uh, pretty awesome cars that I picked up and this awesome shelf because I know some people were asking about the shelf from my Instagram, what it looked like and how it worked. So I figured I'd show that. You know, these are, I'll show you one of the boxes here for this which is really neat so it just has the guy put those stickers on there but you just see it just has some text labeling and they got you know the backs of them how they look here I think it's really neat and then they have the car with the with the actual serial number here I think these are uh, really cool nostalgia pieces so the only one that's not is the state of New Hampshire doesn't have or not New Hampshire um wrote or no well it's North Carolina didn't have the um, tag like this, so I don't know what happened to that. But other than that, it's just fine. And like I said, I fixed the headlight on this guy. So now, when I turn it on, the headlight actually lights up now, which is awesome. So I'll get a couple of shots here really close up of the cars, and then I'll... I'll run them around, but I love these cars because they have the, the state flag on there when they were admitted to the Union, the capital of the state, um, the, flirt, the bird, the flower, and the tree, and the model all on the sides of the car, and then each car obviously has, you know, a different sides and roof for the most part. I mean, some of them share the same roof, like the state of New Jersey shares the same roof and sides in the front here as uh, Rhode Island does. But, um, yeah, these are just magnificent um, and well-preserved because these were probably made, I think, probably, like, I'll have to look up the date, actually, but I'm pretty sure it was in the 90s is when these were built. And uh, these are just fantastic, fantastic cars. There are 13 states because of the 13 original colonies, so there's 13 boxcars. And then there's the Bicentennial Diesel and the Caboose that go with it. So I may be on the lookout to see maybe if I can complete that set. Because I honestly think this is one of the coolest things that I've ever found that was built from these guys. And really not that it, not really a lot, as a lot of money as I thought it was to get the whole set. So now that I have, especially now since I saved on these guys, um, I think that I might as well go and complete the set because I've already got half those box cars already. I got six out of 13, so just under half. Yeah, these are just magnificent. I'd, MTH, I still like MTH though. Um, I got a couple of their freight cars and I honestly think they're, they're, they are they give Lionel a run for their money, let me tell you. And this actually also, I didn't notice, has uh, they got spring trucks on there too as well. Just a couple nice little pieces just to add to the collection, you know. So. Alright, so let me set this up. I'll give you guys a couple of laps around this little circle I got going on, or oval I got going on here. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll stay tuned. We'll see what else I could find to add to this collection that I have here. And it's constantly shifting and growing and all that type of stuff. So I thought it would be kind of cool. All right, guys, Bando, and I'm out. Later. Uh, this is dispatch. We are dealing with a situation, engineer. Stand by for my signal. Uh, uh, copy that. Out. Uh, set off when you're ready, engineer. Uh, stand by. Uh, uh, Brickman, are you all set back there? Uh, Roger. I'm all done. Master, you may proceed on the outbound track. Uh, Roger that. Uh, 
And these are the two other cars that I have. This one doesn't have any doors on it, so I gotta probably find some doors for this guy. But this is the one I already, two I already have. This is the state of Maryland. And then this one here is the state of New Jersey. And this one was the more recent of the two that I picked up before I bought the four that I had. I think I really like this one because of all the, the gold on white. It makes it look really nice.